Let's write a C program to add first 7 terms of this series that is 1 divided by 1 factorial till 7 divided by 7 factorial. So first we take a while loop and select the number and find the factorial of that selected number and then find the sum of the series. Okay, This is a very simple program. We have nested for loop inside a while loop. So let's get started with our C program. I'll take a couple of integer variables num is equal to 1, count and, a f and some floating point variables that is sum is equal to 0.0, .0 and fact. I'll straightforward take while loop while num is less than or equal to 7 because we need to find uh, 7 terms addition of 7 terms of this series ok so while loop executes from 1 to 7 that is 7 times so I'll assign 1 to fact now I'll write the for loop for count is equal to 1 this for loop executes until count is less than or equal to selected number and for each iteration of this for loop count value increments by 1 now it's very easy to calculate the fact of the selected number that is factorial fact is equal to fact into count this gives factorial of the selected number the number is selected by while loop so now outside the inner uh, for loop I'll write sum is equal to sum plus selected number divided by factorial of that selected number so this is very easy concentrate the f the while loop first so while loop executes from 1 to 7 okay that is 7 times for each iteration we initialize fact to 1 and inside for loop we we find the factorial of the selected number and then we calculate the series that is num divided by factorial of that number we add it and store it inside the variable sum outside the while loop we print the sum of the series okay which is present inside the variable sum so sum of series is 2.718056 now let me take another variable limit I'll ask the user to enter the terms so how many number of terms in the series need to be added let us store that user entered value inside the address of integer variable limit now let's replace this 7 with the user entered limit so sum of percentage d terms of series is so limit comma sum so let me compile and execute this so I'll give 7 once again so 2.7180 5, 6. Observe, observe the digits after the decimal point now I'll give 8 terms so it gives 2.718254 ok fractional changes let me execute once again and this time let me give 10 terms so it should give 2.718282 very fractional difference ok so please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.